What's up everybody, Phil Blackman with Barben.com and today we are going to cover Hafthor Bjornsson's improvements in his second exhibition bout. If you want to learn anything about Hafthor Bjornsson, his boxing exhibition or anything leading up to his bout against Eddie Hall in September 2021, just head over to Google, type in Barben Hafthor or Barben Hafthor Bjornsson. All that information is going to come up and you're not going to want to miss out. Since it was announced that 2018 World Strongest Man Hafthor the Mountain Bjornsson will fight 2017 World Strongest Man The Beast Eddie Hall in September 2021 in Las Vegas, Nevada, both men have taken their preparation seriously. Hall has chosen a more secretive approach while Bjornsson has been participating in exhibition fights to showcase his improvements over the last year. Before the big showdown in Las Vegas is set to take place, Thor took part in one last fight against pro boxer Simon Valili, a fighter that has experience and size to help hone his skills. The four round exhibition fight occurred in Dubai on May 28, 2021 and was hosted by Core Sports. Dubbed, quote, brunch with a punch, unquote, the fight was streamed for free on coresports.world upon signing up. Like Thor's first bout against Steven Ward, this was an exhibition bout so no official winner was declared. Here's the tale of the tape from the exhibition. Bjornsson weighed 206 kilos when he pulled his historic 501 kilogram deadlift on the Feats of Strength series in May of 2020. He has since lost 54 kilograms with a strict 3600 calorie diet and conditioning sessions and revealed a chiseled physique in this bout. At six foot nine, the Icelandic legend weighed 152 kilos or 336 pounds for this fight. He was still heavy enough that the ring announcer introduced him as a quote, Titan weight. Valili weighed 114 kilograms or 252 pounds at his height of six foot three. He has a professional record of 17 wins with three losses and one draw. Another key point for this fight was the gloves. While normal competition gloves range between eight and 12 ounces, Bjornsson and Valili wore 16 ounce gloves. That extra few ounces can weigh down the competitor's hands, resulting in less force. Here's the play-by-play -play from the bout. There was a lot of caution by both men in the opening round. After the first minute, they began exchanging blows, followed by tie-ups. The referee separates the contestants before resuming the round. Valili connected with a left hand before the round ended, although it didn't appear to phase Bjornsson. In round two, after a brief standoff at the beginning of round two, Valili rocked Bjornsson with a left hook that knocked him backwards towards the ropes. Bjornsson countered with a right hand that knocked Valili down. However, Bjornsson's hand speed decreased by the end of the round, highlighting endurance as a potential weakness for the Icelandic native. Though he's made some huge strides in his training, Thor will likely still focus on conditioning leading up to his fight with Hall. Round three. Valili showed signs of confidence, dancing around Thor while faking attempts in round three. The British boxer scored a left hook that knocked Bjornsson down. This is the first time Bjornsson has left his feet in either exhibition fight he has competed in. The final round began the same as the first with both contestants showing caution. Valili kept trying to lure Bjornsson in by leaning toward him, but he never took the bait. There were more tie-ups and it was obvious neither fighter wanted to leave himself open for a big shot. The final seconds featured a flurry of jabs and body shots by both men as the bell rang. Before leaving the ring, Bjornsson had one final message for Hall before that big pay-per-view bout in September. He said, quote, you better be training your ass off because I'm coming for you and I'm going to knock you out. Big words from the big man. We'll see what happens in September 2021. Will the beast or the mountain have their hands raised regardless of the outcome? It is certainly going to be a match for the ages. I'm Phil Blackman for Barbend.com. Thanks for watching.